So I have a secret that I've been keeping for a while and I wanna share it with you today and it's all about AI and how I've had my color grading done through Imagine Video for the last couple of months. If you don't know of Imagine, they actually already edit all of my photos and they've recently released a beta version of color grading for video. So why is this so important? Well, I can save hours of time and the AI learns my color grading preferences so when I get done with the wedding film, I can upload it into their platform and it color grades it for me. So I can save hours of time without having to go through and color grade every single clip. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I import and color grade my films through Imagine Video. I open up Imagine Video and literally I just click Create Project and as you can see, I've got the different baked in color presets that they already have for me. I'm a big fan of the true to life. I'm also a big fan of natural flow. I'm working on my own preset, so they have this ready for me. Um, I click the little button, use profile, and then I can find in my Premiere projects, my Imagine 3 test that I just have set up, and I know that it is this sequence right here. And then I click correct color. While that's happening, it's uploading all the clips. It's gonna upload them very quickly and it's gonna use Media Encoder to go through every single clip and analyze it. In a few minutes, it will be completely ready and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. It took about three minutes for me to upload the clips and now I am able to click Review in Premiere and it asks if I want to review it in Premiere. It's going to create a new project. Continue. It'll open it up in Premiere Pro and boom, the sequence is, is there. And these are the colors straight out of the gate. Now they're not perfect. I'm not saying that they are, but they are close. And I have other videos on the channel I'll link above about how I color grade films, but I just want to show you, and these are not like in the right order or anything like that, but I will go through quickly and show you how it works. When I click a clip, you can see on the basic correction that there is a LUT that has been added. So right now there is just a LUT on each clip. It's a different LUT for each clip. And what it has done is it's tried to go through and balance everything for me, color balance it for me. And all I have to do at this point is change up just a little bit of the things that I see. I, this looks a little contrasty to me. Um, the shadows, I can go in in the color wheels and just pull a little bit um, of red out of the shadows. And now it's starting to look a lot more like what I would like. Um, so just a little tiny bit of tweaks. That clip is done. This clip looks a little overexposed. Um, so I can go in and the color wheels and pull some of the highlights down, bring some of the midtones down, and then I'm going to pull some of the shadows. Um, get that going there. So just little bitty tweaks. You probably can't even tell a major difference, but little tiny tweaks. All my LUTs and everything are already um, added. As you can see, boom, this clip right here, maybe a little bit more in the shadows I need to pull down. And then I will pull boop, a little bit of the blues out just like that, a little bit of reds in the midtones highlights. So I'm gonna pull down just a little bit, get that kind of evened out. Um, just a little bit more over there, boom. So it went from a little red to the color I wanted. This is kind of a similar clip, but same thing. Whoops, wrong, wrong one here. Shadows, can bring those down to where I want. Can look in my scopes and see there's a little bit here on the shadows I wanna pull. A little bit of the blues out and then some of the green. So we're just going to go there. And just with a couple of clicks, that looks like what I want. This clip is much better. It's still a little bright for my liking. So I'm going to make sure that my shadows are where I want them to be. My midtones are down a little bit where I'd want them to be. Highlights are up a little bit. Pull a little bit of the reds. Get that kind of even there. Boom, clips are, it's like the shadows maybe can be pulled up a little. Let's try it over here. 
Yeah, there we go. Looks like that clip maybe. So I've got this wobbly clip. Just wanted to show you this. I can warp stabilize that, of course, and even it out, but let's go into the color wheels, bring down some of these shadows, bring down some of the mid-tones, and I'm gonna pop back up some of these highlights. I mean, that little bit there, let's get a little bit more in the highlights, and let's pull the little towards there, and then my mid-tones, let's go. So I had to make just a couple of tweaks, boom to boom, that's what I like. And then this one is coming in way pink. Sometimes it does that based on how I shot it or it's a little too much red. So I can go pull the reds real quick out of the highlights, get that kind of even back up, go a little more towards the blues. Mm -hmm. my mid-tones where I want them, and then we can pop up the highlights where we want them. So let's see what that did. Yeah, we still need to pull a little bit of reds out, it looks like, maybe a little bit of reds out of the mid-tones. Yeah, so within a couple of clicks, we went from that to that, much better. And now I've got the clips that I want so I can put together my social media clips. So why is this so important for us? It's not so you can get away from ever having to color grade, but what it's gonna do is it's going to save you time. It's gonna make you more efficient, which is gonna make you more money. I love color grading, but if I have a nine minute film and I need it color graded, I want AI to help me do it. I wanna save those hours of time. And what it has done for me since using this is not made me more lazy. It's allowed me to be more intentional with my color and my edits. And once I get done editing, I'm able to upload that final project and then the AI learns more about the kinds of tweaks that I made. And this is just in beta mode. Literally, it's just the beginning. And I've been messing with it and learning more and more. And I'm telling you, you don't want to miss out on this. So imagine, has done a couple of things there's actually a link below this video where you can try out right now as the time that i'm putting this video out you can try the video product for free it's not always going to be this way so get on it now learn the product and if you do struggle with color grading this could really help you save a lot of time and get you colors that you really want they have a ton of different kinds of presets that you can look at and add to your footage and maybe that's all you want to do Literally, you could go in and make some tweaks, but the footage is ready to go with just a couple of clicks. So what do you think? Do you think that this is going to be something that changes the game for you? Let me know in the comments below. So as you know, this channel is here to help you shift your focus. And I honestly think that by saving time on things like this, I can focus on things that really make a difference in my business. So do two things right now to help me out. Number one, I want you to go click the link for Imagine Video and just give it a whirl and let me know in the comments what you think. And number two, if you haven't subscribed or liked this video already, it means the world. The algorithms love it. And a bonus number three, if you know somebody that needs this kind of content, feel free to share it with them. That is all I have today with a short video, but I really wanted to show you the power of Imagine Video. And also thank you Imagine Video for creating products like this. I'm so excited for the future of AI. That's all I have today. Until next time, I'll see ya.